That's... The Wings of Light. So, it's come to this. It looks like they've moved to the Wings of Light. Damn it all! I... I broke the promise I made to you all. Will? Ow! You failed to fulfill the responsibility entrusted to you. That was your punishment. But none of us here thinks you broke your promise. What? What you said was, if she really is the Marinus, then I'll finish this. You didn't say a single word about killing Cheryl. That person in there was Shirley. That was clear to all of us. A one look at her face and you knew it. She wasn't gonna start no cataclysm. She'd been struggling all by herself this whole time. Even synchronized with the raging Nerefus, she probably fought desperately to prevent the revival of the Wings of Light. Guys, this isn't the time to be depressed, Senel. If you've got time for that, use it to think of a way to infiltrate the Wings of Light. Exactly. That's our friend in there. We're not quitting till we rescue Shirley. We're gonna stop the cataclysm. I won't give up. I'll follow Shirley to the ends of the earth. I don't care if it's the wings of light or wherever. I won't let things end like this. Right? Right? Yeah! It looks like there are beams stretching out from the center of the Wings of Light. It's pointing in the direction of where it is beacon. Or perhaps it's heading from the lighthouse toward the Wings of... Wait a minute. Jay! Light! It's the trail across the heavens! That's just what I was thinking. The top of the lighthouse has tracks extending to it. We may be able to take you all to the top of that tower! Really? If our theory is correct, anyway. At any rate, let's take the tram to where to speak in at once. We've already confirmed that you can enter the lighthouse by tram. Leave the steering 
come to us. We'll take you to the city in a snap. Pushing this will do it. This is it. The floating path in the sky spoken of in Orosoran legend. It's the trail across the heavens! The light connects to the tracks that took us here. Jay, you can't mean. The tram can run on the light. You're kidding! You for real? They had an entire ship that flew through the sky. Why not a flying tram? It would be so cool if it worked. Well, why don't you let us test it out? Could we have some time? One night should be enough. One night, hmm. Understood. We'll leave you to it then. What should we do while we're waiting? Don't worry about us. Just get some rest. You've got stuff to take care of, right? Writing your wills, giving away your belongings. Hey, don't talk like that! Alright, let's split up for now. We'll meet back here in the morning. That's the word I'd use. What I want to say won't work if you're not, so get excited! Oh, uh, okay. okay. So, like I was saying, in times like this, we have to have a party. Now listen up, I want everyone to get ready and meet up at the Fountain Plaza. Are you serious? Dead serious. I'm with you, Bubbles. I'll bring my boys. Oh my, that sounds like fun. Participation voluntary, but I fully expect you all to come. Got that? You got that, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, see you then. She sure is being pushy. Nah, she's probably just looking to make some noise. I suppose that's her way of trying to relax and cheer everyone up.
Moses, I'll be praying for your success tomorrow. Just leave it to me and Geet. We're gonna rip it up. Ah, just hearing those words makes me so relieved. Don't it? Sennel and the others probably said the same thing to you. Uh, yeah. Uh, how'd you know? Anybody would feel that way about you, Moses. Chaba, you got a real pure heart. You know, Chaba, I've always thought of geeting y'all as my family, but... Oh, I know. You feel the same about Sennel and the others, right? Yeah, but I ain't told them that yet. I'm sure they'll be happy to hear it. We'll see. I know at least one of them is just gonna give me hell. Ah, my ears! Jay, are you alright? My ears just started burning all of a sudden. I bet that stupid bandit is talking about me. You seem to be in a good mood, Jay. Really? Senel and the others are good people. I'm really glad we met them. Yeah, I suppose it's not all that unpleasant being around them. Senel, Will, even that stupid bandit. What are you laughing about? Where is everyone? Huh? Senel, is it just you? I was about to give up on anyone coming. Oh. I'll be waiting for good news. I will do everything in my power. It seems you're getting along quite well with Senel and the others. It seems my role is to scold everyone. I doubt I'm very popular. But they all have great respect for you, according to the reports I've heard. I wonder who told you that. Anyway, I'll be taking my leave now. Wait, are you not going to see Harriet? I doubt she wants to see me. It looks like you may be wrong about that. Dearest father and mother in heaven. Oh, whoops, they're not dead yet. Dear sirs, the weather is clear, but the waves are high. What the heck am I trying to write? Yo, yo, yo! Moms, pops, what's shaking? No, they'd cry if they read that. Oh, never mind, enough of this. I can't just suddenly write my parents a letter after all this time. I wonder what my teacher would think if he saw me now. I guess that's a dumb question. He'd be laughing his head off. Sorry, I know you're my teacher and all, but the Everlight is gonna have to wait. It seems I've got something more important to take care of. Of course, I could never admit it to those guys. Well, I'm off. You'd better be praying for my safety, you hear me? All right, it's party time! Sen... Hmm? You and Shirley... What about Shirley? Um, I mean... I was remembering what happened at Mirage Palace. 
It's so hard for people to understand each other. Yeah, it is, but... I think maybe it's because it is hard that people reach out to each other. Senel. Grandpa said you're the worst person ever. But Mom said you're the best. She always told me there's no one greater than you. That's more than I deserve. I wonder which one of them was right. That's a difficult question for me to answer. I came to the Legacy to find the answer, but I still don't know. I mean... Harriet. You never pay any attention to me! You never say anything to me! You're hardly ever even in the city! How am I supposed to learn anything about you like that? I'm sorry, Harriet. It's too late for apologies. You're right, there's no excuse. But let me say just one thing. I swear, no matter what happens, I will protect you. That much, I promise. So now you're pretending to act like a father all of a sudden? I guess so. Perhaps I don't even have the right to say that much. Wait! I heard about what's happening from Musette. They're trying to sink the mainland into the sea, right? That's right. If that happens, then Mom's grave will be gone too. You protect Mom's grave. If you mess up, I'll... I'll never forgive you! Ever! Harriet, that's the best encouragement anyone could have ever given me. When Shirley gets back, could I ask you to be friends with her? There'll probably be times when she'd rather talk to another girl, you know? I'll accept your request. But in exchange, I'm going to be true to my feelings. When Shirley gets back, I'm not going to show any mercy, understand? Chloe... Do you really hate Shirley that much? That's not what I meant. Never mind. And after all the courage that took to say... What are you mad about? Despicable! Worthless! Coward! I guess that last one applies to me, too. What are you talking about? Nothing. I don't get you sometimes. <laughs> I'm glad we're in this together, Coolidge. Everyone here has said you're their friend. 